Hi guys, today I'm going to show you the basic apparatus of how to find the Young's modulus of a piece of Constantin wire. Now what you can see here is I've got a piece of wire, a rather long piece of wire, approximately three meters in length, and it is G-clamped at the very end over there. It's actually wrapped around some wood several times in order to stop it from slipping. Uh, you've got your piece of Constantin wire, and it goes all the way along over here to a pulley that has also been G-clamped and has a weight attached to it. Now to find the young modulus of a material, you need to know the cross-sectional area. So to find the cross-sectional area, you're going to use the micrometer here and measure about five different points along the, the wire. Once you find the diameter, with the diameter you can find the cross-sectional area by using the formula uh, pi d squared over 4 or pi r squared, up to you. Okay, here I've got a, a, a marker. Now, as we add more and more weights to our system, the marker is going to move across. And the marker, with the marker, we're going to use this marker to work out the extension of our wire. So, before you start the experiment, not only will you measure the cross-sectional area, you're also going to measure the length using probably several meter sticks uh, uh, to find the length of the wire. And then from this point here, you've got your little marker here that's attached to the wire. And as you add more weight, so if I just pull, you should, you'll see the, uh, the marker just move, but it doesn't move very much. So you actually need rather a large amount of weight to actually get uh, an extension. Uh, also, just for a safety point of view, just make sure the, the weights are firmly secured onto the, the metal here. And also, don't place your feet underneath the weights in case the weights drop. Uh, you don't want them landing on your feet. Another thing that's also important, probably if you're taking the measurements, is not to look directly above. If there's a large amount of tension and this snaps, it may flip up and catch your eyes, so you have to be slightly careful there. Okay, that's the basic setup to find the young modulus of material. Hope that's been useful. Bye for now.